dive into Treehouse Collaboration, where a group of children turn their diverse ideas into a shared dream treehouse, enhancing their English and life skills along the way. So, let's embark on our today's narrative journey. In the lively town of Oakwood, a group of children decided to build a magnificent treehouse. There was Max, who loved adventures, Sophie, who was creative, Emma, who enjoyed reading, and Jack, who was always full of ideas. They all had different backgrounds, but shared a common dream of having the best treehouse in town. One sunny Saturday, they gathered their tools and materials and started building. The treehouse began to take shape, and soon, it was ready for use. However, once they climbed up, they realized they each had different ideas about what the treehouse should be. I think we should use it as a pirate ship. Max exclaimed, swinging a pretend sword. No way! It should be an art studio, Sophie insisted, holding up her paintbrush. I'd love it to be a library, where we can read and relax, said Emma, hugging her favorite book. How about a science lab, where we can do experiments? Jack suggested, with excitement in his eyes. The children began to argue, each one adamant about their own idea. The treehouse, that had brought them together, now seemed to be tearing them apart. Miss Brown, their wise neighbor, noticed the commotion and decided to step in. Why don't you all sit down and talk about it? She advised. Maybe you can find a way to compromise. Taking her advice, the children sat in a circle and began to discuss their ideas. It wasn't easy, but they learned to listen to each other. They decided to draft a treehouse treaty to outline how the treehouse would be used. Let's take turns, Max suggested. We can have pirate adventures on Mondays and science labs on Tuesdays. Yes, an art studio time can be on Wednesdays and the library on Thursdays, Sophie added. Emma and Jack nodded in agreement. They wrote down their plan and signed the treaty feeling proud of their teamwork. The treehouse now had a schedule that accommodated everyone's wishes. The next day, they implemented their new plan. On Monday, Max led a pirate adventure and everyone played along. Tuesday turned the treehouse into a bustling science lab with Jack leading the experiments. Wednesday was filled with colors and creativity thanks to Sophie and on Thursday, the treehouse became a cozy library where Emma read stories to the group. The children discovered that, by working together and compromising, they could enjoy the treehouse in many different ways. They appreciated each other's interests and found joy in sharing. Word spread about the treehouse treaty and soon, other children in Oakwood were inspired to create their own treaties for their shared spaces. The treehouse had become a symbol of collaborative decision-making and the power of working together. From that day on, the treehouse was not just a place of fun, but also a place where valuable lessons were learned. The children of Oakwood treasured their treehouse and the memories they made, knowing that compromise and teamwork had turned their dream into a reality. Congratulations on completing Treehouse Collaboration! Your dedication to learning English is impressive. Let's revisit the keywords and phrases from our story to help them stick. A quick refresher to boost your English skills. Number one, magnificent, extremely beautiful or impressive. Number two, adventures, exciting or unusual experiences. Number three, creative, having the ability to create characterized by originality. Number four, materials, the substances or components used to make something. Number five, swinging, moving back and forth or from side to side. Number six, insisted, demanded something forcefully, not accepting refusal. 
Number 7. Holding up, raising or lifting something. Number 8. Science lab, a place equipped for scientific experiments and research. Number 9. Experiments, scientific procedures to test hypotheses. Number 10. Argue, exchange or express opposite views, typically in a heated manner. Number 11. Adamant, refusing to be persuaded or change one's mind. Number 12. Tearing them apart, causing division or discord. Number 13. Commotion, a state of confused and noisy disturbance. Number 14. Compromise, an agreement or settlement of a dispute where each side makes concessions. Number 15. Sat in a circle, position themselves in a round formation. Number 16. Agreement, a negotiated and typically legally binding arrangement. Number 17. Accommodated, adjusted or adapted to suit a particular need. Number 18. Implemented, put into effect according to a plan. Number 19. Played along, participated cooperatively. Number 20. Leading, guiding or directing. Number 21. Discovered, found something or became aware of it for the first time. Number 22. Appreciated, recognized the full worth of something. Number 23. Inspired, filled with the urge or ability to do or feel something. Number 24. Collaborative, produced or conducted by two or more parties working together. Number 25. Treasured, valued highly, kept carefully. Number 26. Began to take shape, started to develop and become more definite. Number 27. Climbed up, ascended or went up. Number 28. Brought them together, united them. Number 29. Step in, intervene or get involved. Number 30. Draft, to write or compose a preliminary version. Number 31. Outline, a general description or plan showing the essential features. Number 32. Take turns, to alternate in doing something. Number 33. Cozy, giving a feeling of comfort, warmth, and relaxation. If you learned some new words or laughed along the way, smash that like button. And for more stories that will help you rock your English skills, don't forget to subscribe. Check out the video on screen for more fun ways to learn English. See you next time.